What's up everybody, Sam Burr here. Welcome back for another Semi Vostok video. This one I'm actually quite excited about because it turns out to be something that's a little bit different from everything else. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. One thing I should say before I uh, continue this video, I've, I've had a weird throat um, infection going on. So if my voice sounds a bit funny today, or you're like, who is this guy? That's not Sam. Um, yeah, it is me. Trust me, it's me. But I just have um, a sore throat. But I'm, I'm getting over it, so I'm okay. But anyway, let's get back into it. And don't worry about my weird voice of all today. <laughs> I wanted to make it look like this ferry station is actually really part of the seawall. So it's, it is actually, it's on top of the seawall a little bit. It's really mushed in there. And um, I don't know why there's a weird color underneath the the ferry water area. See how it's like a, a weird light brown? I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, this whole area, it's going to be pretty organized. So originally I was going to do just like a really small seaside town area. But then I was looking at the size of the train station here and I was like, hmm, that's pretty big and that looks pretty good. And just having the train station there and the ferry station, it made me want to do something really big and different. If you go onto Google Maps, there's a place in Brisbane called Hamilton. So people in Brisbane, you know Hamilton, right? Hamilton is where all of the cruise ships come into the city and it's built around the cruise ship terminal. There's a lot of really high density buildings there and it looks really random on the map because all around it is low density buildings. And then suddenly there's all of these huge high density, like it's really dense. There's lots of residential buildings. It's actually going to be a mixture, but so all of the areas were actually, first of all, this part here, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this nice little canal here. It's gonna be really cool and edgy and different, but I end up deleting it because it's like, ugh, trash, don't want it. Um, but anyway, this part out here that I'm building now, it, it's like a, a T, it ends up being like a T shape. And this is where all of the residential areas are mostly going to be. So the areas really close to the train station and the ferry, uh, the ferry station, that's going to be a really dense office and commercial area. And so you'll see in a minute, it becomes really, really dense. The buildings are quite close, but don't worry. <laughs> if that was all residential, I'd be pretty worried because that's pretty crowded and I wouldn't want to live there because you look at your window and you'd see someone else in the shower or like in the bedroom getting dressed. Like it, it would be way too close. But for offices and commercial, I think it's okay. And like, it, it's something that I have seen before anyway. Yeah, I deleted that, I didn't want it. So this part here, I wanted to bring in the water because it kind of shows like this is the end of where all of the older buildings are. And then on the other side is where all of the nice new flash buildings are. There's going to be lots of high rises. So on the left there, um, I, I did that video um, was it like last week? I think I don't, I don't remember, but if you want to go back and have a look at that. So between this part here and what's on the other side of that little water area, it is quite different. It's quite traditional on the other side. This part's really new, modern flash, huge. And I love that it ends up being really crowded. It looks actually quite good. Some of you are probably going to be like, what the heck is he doing? We don't like that. It's really different. It's, di it's, it's unique, but you know what you guys, Sometimes I like doing something that's different, something that's unexpected. Like how many of you expected this area to end up being a high density area? Actually, I didn't, I didn't even expect it to turn out to um, be this dense, but you can see it's already starting to come together with all of the really high density buildings. You know what? It actually takes me so long to find a building. And <laughs> it's, it's funny because some of you in the comments are like, oh, don't cut out anything in the video in these speed builds. Like we want to watch all of it. We want to see you go through choosing your buildings. But like something that you guys don't know is that it literally takes me five minutes sometimes to find the right building or to find the right tree or like to, <laughs> it takes a while. Like I go through, I literally have hundreds to choose from. I put them down. I twist the camera around to have a look at it. And then I wiggle it around to place, delete other buildings. And then you have to change the road angles and things like that. It takes a while. So that's why I never show you guys the full scale of me building everything. It takes way too long. This build in particular was like three hours or more. I, I don't know. It was a while. And like, if I actually showed you guys me building everything, it's going to be a lot of me like, um, hmm, 
yeah, um, hmm, like that kind of stuff, and that's not very entertaining. But anyway, this this road here, this is the old pebble road you've seen before, and um, this road here is one of the entrance points going into this new area, and then the other one ends up being over here as well. I guess they can. You can also con consider the um, the bike path there another entry point, I suppose. And then you also have the train, then you have the ferry. So I guess it is well connected in terms of all different types of connections. So at least that is that in the future, I'll probably fill in all of these surrounding areas. So we have that main road that goes through there. Right now it's still empty, but in the future, it's probably just going to be some more little houses. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's not much uh, parking in this area. So there's only some street parking. So you'll start to notice I put in some parking. So that one right there. Um, I do another one a little bit closer to the ferry station as well. And they don't actually get that full, which is, which is good actually, because it shows that they're more relying on the train. They're more walking on the ferry and um, the bike paths as well, which is good because it's quite a... It's a decent area in terms of like the amount of people and the amount of workers. So um, this part here, so on the left is going to be a little commercial building. I just kind of throw it in there, fits quite well. And then the other side is going to be a park, which you'll see in a second. Um, this part right here, actually, one thing I want to point out, have you guys noticed that in this area, I'm not using any roads that have um, lines on them. So I don't, I don't really like the roads that have all the pedestrian crossings and like just all the dots where to park and things like that. Sometimes it's a little bit over the top and like you can see right now there isn't any lines and it looks so much nicer. It, it just looks more casual. It doesn't look as um, organized, but it's still organized. Like obviously they still follow the, the road rules and stuff, but yeah, if I had to say which one I like more, I like roads without lines. Oh well. So I think from this point on, it is mostly just detailing. So I'm just putting in planters. If you want planters, just go into the workshop, type in planters, and those, those will probably probably come up. I like those, they're just really easy. I don't know what these ones are. I don't, I don't actually remember downloading them. Sometimes I swear, I don't know, things just suddenly appear and I'm like, what, where'd they come from? But anyway, I like them because then these little, I'm talking about these brown little planters, by the way. I like them because I know it's such a tiny thing, so random, but I like them because they are brown and they don't really like stand out in your face. The green, the green ones are good, but these ones are a nice little comparison because they can just fill in tiny little areas. They're not really in your face and they look pretty good. So that's another thing type finding the trees that I want. That takes, a, <laughs> that takes me a long time as well, because I don't just put down any old tree. Um, I always consider the the height of the tree the width of the tree so if i have a really high dense area i don't want to put really high tall trees i like to put medium sized trees that aren't too bushy because if you have really high buildings then you have really high trees it just doesn't look right it just something just doesn't look it doesn't like add up so you'll see throughout this area i used really smaller trees maybe you guys can try that in your own city and um, you'll see what I'm trying to mention the the tree comparison to buildings and that's actually something that happens in town planning so there's actually a whole different planning department that just focuses on the types of trees sometimes they like trees that are um, not as bushy so it makes things more visible for everyone else makes people feel safer sometimes they want trees that don't have um, branches that fall down and kill you or they like trees that have more leaves so it's shadier things like that so it's yeah, it's always a, it's a big thing to consider in real life. This is a little park, what am I saying, parking lot? No, it's a little um, market area, but I don't think they actually use it. It's technically a pathway, but it just looks good because you can drag it out and it's all done. You got the little boxes, you got the little canopies, like it just fits in really, really good. I probably should have put some people generators down. So there's an area behind all of this, which you'll see in a second. It's a really bushy area and I wanted to leave that because 
like I said, in the future, this area is going to have a lot of houses, like just low density houses. So I think that area will look quite good just having this random bit of bush. Maybe I can put some pathways in it, some dirt pathways. I don't know just yet. And then this pathway right here, so that obviously goes between the old and the new. Oh yeah, so this was the bushy part that I was talking about. It's a, it's a bit of a hilly area, so it's not really, you can't really use it too much. So I actually think it looks better just leaving it compared to filling it in with more, um, buildings and I think that's where again the whole like building things that aren't expected kind of comes into play I like to do th things that are different and just not like vanilla like basically every other youtuber they just follow the same old thing and then this train line here something was wrong with this train line so the people weren't able to cross the cars weren't crossing properly so you know what I'll just like see ya gotta, <laughs> gotta get rid of you so it gets uh, elevated the pathway of the the roads go down and then they can just go straight across very very easily and then I just have to move the pillar out of the way do I move the pillar out of the way I think I do I think and then anyway you guys I'm just going to wrap up the episode here give you guys some uh, close-up looks of everything uh, sorry I can't talk <laughs> very, I can't talk too much more because my throat is not the best but anyway hope you guys enjoy <laughs>